Alrighty, so today we're doing a rebuild in the future. I'm not too sure how many years yet I've simmed into the future. You guys already know by the thumbnail and the title. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sim basically until I'm tired. And I really just don't want to sim anymore. From what I know, MLB The Show's franchise just keeps going and going and going. I don't think there's like a cap year. But I could be wrong. I've never really simmed that far in advance. So we're just going to see how far we can go basic just just until i can't really sim anymore and i lose my brain and i just go crazy so with that being said we're just gonna sim we're gonna see what happens we're gonna try out a bunch of randomly generated players and we're gonna do a three-year rebuild from the time i stopped simming and just kind of do a three-year rebuild from there so i think it's a lot of fun just to test out what can happen when you use a bunch of randomly generated players compared to knowing like oh mike trout's gonna be good oh tatis is gonna be good we have no idea what's gonna happen let's see what happens with this future rebuild so with that being said, let's hop into today's video. 2,000 years later. I legit sat here for two hours. Two hours almost simming into the year 2050. So I'm at 2050 right now, and we're gonna we're gonna do a rebuild from here. We're with the Cubs. I don't think it really matters who we're with. I, we'll take a look and see the standings to see where we're ranked. Currently, we're last, but we're ranked first okay fourth in power first in pitching eighth in contact 11th in defense and 24th in speed i'm kind of interested just to kind of see the teams um that some like just the players and some of the teams okay so the the cups kind of got a, a got a stacked lineup right here um but everybody is randomly generated i don't think there are any players left over from uh real life I, I really doubt it i'd be super surprised but um let's just take kind of a quick look to kind of see some of the standout players the reds look like they've got a team as well it's really stacked that's two 90s in the lineup a couple high 80s um the brewers not so much pirates not so much cardinals are okay um the diamondbacks got a couple 90s as well um but yeah it's kind of interesting to see just a bunch of randomly generated players you like just simulated and simulated and simulated into the future but for the most part a lot of these teams look pretty well balanced there's a 99 overall first baseman tim kaziak um or kazizak what a name but he looks like a beast he looks unreal um i think that was like the only 99 that i've seen so far there may be some pitchers that are 99s as well but it's pretty interesting to see like we really have no idea who's gonna do well who's gonna do poorly and things like that babe aoki what a name he looks pretty good as well though um i might have to trade for him just based on his name um we got a catcher down here miguel vasquez an amazing fielder but um like i said yeah it's just just kind of cool they've also got some pretty funny names we got lou humber um junior slaughter we got some pretty interesting names i'll, I'll give mlb the show at least that they do kind of come up with some interesting names for player pools and stuff like that for regens and scouted players and things like that but you know it's it's pretty cool to see we have no idea who's going to be good who's going to be bad um and it's, it's just going to be a toss-up so what i'll do is take a look at the awards for the last couple seasons um but it looks like the White Sox have a have a couple good players the last couple of years, but it's it's really unfortunate that we really don't have like a, a history book. Um, like there's roster history, we can go here, and we can go to stats, and we can look at like MLB records and see if there are any any records broken broken recently. Um, and there actually was. There's a couple. Um, we have a new saves leader for a single season, Christian Javier in 2031. You can see that in the bottom left. Um, and I think there was another one. Where was it? Oh, a save streak. So a guy went 90 saves in a row without blowing a save. In 2044 is when he lost or he blew his most recent save. So that's pretty interesting. He went 90 saves. Okay. Okay. Um, achievements. That's going to be. Okay. 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 So any recent Hall of Fame in. Bobby Wood Jr. was a Hall of Fame inductee. He's recent. Um, Julio Rodriguez was a recent Hall of Fame inductee. Um, any other recent ones? Roberto Osuna. I mean, there's got to be others as well. Mike Trout, Albert Pujols, Ichiro Suzuki. Um, okay, Bo Bichette, Robinson Cano. And that's that's that. So as you can see, like, there's really no 
history books in MLB The Show, which is a little disappointing. So we kind of looked at the teams. We kind of looked at what we could do um, with the squad. I mean, pitching wise, we have a really stacked lineup. So let's just sim a season, see what happens. And then season two and season three, we'll start looking for some new players and see if we can really create a God squad here in 2051 and 2052. So season one went pretty well. Obviously we were a really high ranked team. So I would assume that we did really well. And looking at our lineup, we were pretty stacked. Even our pitching rotation was really solid. So let's just kind of take a look, see what some of the league leaders were, um, walks, and ERA, and wins. So it looks like we got a pretty solid ace. But look at this first baseman, 28 years old, eight potential, 93 overall, really good hitting stats. Had himself a, a really good year. He's actually had himself some really good years the last few years. So he's maybe a player I keep my eye on. We got a right fielder here pretty consistent with his bat as well francisco santana pretty consistent so there's some interesting names to keep uh, uh our eye on tim we talked about tim looks like he's just a beast i didn't even realize his last three seasons have been huge holy cow crazy stats we got a catcher here looks decent um a left fielder ronald wilson pretty consistent um enrique reyes all right, so there's, I have a feeling like a lot of these players are just souped up in attributes, just unreal, and everyone just becomes really, really good by the time this happens. Um, I want to see like how many home runs, maybe something's happened with home runs. So we got a couple triples. Home runs, we're still sitting around the 40s. Benito Merced's a 99 first baseman. Had some pretty big power numbers the last couple of years. 41. Okay, so home runs don't really change. RBIs are still pretty high up there. Okay, so let's take a look at awards. MVP was Lloyd Fernandez, Cy Young as well. So let's take a look at his stats because um, prior to this year, he's really only had like one really good year. Um, and it, I mean, he just, look, he actually looks really good for a starting pitcher. That's crazy. 99 overall pitcher as well. Um, we already talked about Tim's stats. He looks like really good for a, um, a first baseman. And look at those double numbers he's put up, 46 and 44. That's nuts. That's crazy. So Cy Young, Jimmy Draper, 29 year old pitcher, um, actually hasn't been good up until this season. Interesting. Okay. Um, we'll take a look at batting title, Adam Morgan, which is the first baseman. Orlando Hernandez was the reliever of the year. 58 saves, pretty good ERA. We got uh, Gilberto Franco as well. 155 ERA, 42 saves. He looks really good too. Okay, rookie of the year was James Koo. Um, eh, you know, uh, Fernando Rodriguez, the shortstop, was rookie of the year as well. Had a little bit better year, but still kind of, still kind of mad. But it's, it's interesting to see. We won the division by seven games, still the fourth ranked team. And um, let's just kind of see what numbers we were putting up. And I mean, really good numbers. High average there, high average there. Steve Pruitt looks like a beast in center field. The Canadian, high average for most of his career. Bill Estrada, our power guy. A good fielder though for a left fielder. Average, not so good for his career. Raul Cabrera is okay. Um, so it looks like the top of the lineup was really good. The bottom half, not so much. Pitching wise, I didn't even realize a 0.99 whip and a 2.29 ERA is just nuts. And overall as a pitching staff, it was really solid. It's looking like this team's actually really good. Holy cow. Um, Chad Lowe looks good. We got Munoz, not too much. Richard Young. And then Rob Polito, 99 overall closer. His stats are almost all in the 90s for per nines, except for that hits per nine. Holy cow. This guy's nutty. This guy's insane. Jesus. Um... Yeah, he looks pretty good. So let's just let's just hop forward into the playoffs and uh, get get through there. We'll keep going. Possibly get eliminated by the Giants. Um, we'll sim it. We won, and we're taking on the Blue Jays. Tim, we're taking on Tim in the the uh, World Series. So Omar Ochoa is pitching. So let's go. Actually, yeah, let's uh, ooh, let's not let those guys pitch. So here we go, World Series first year. This maybe I just need to sim super far into the future 
for me to be really good at rebuilds. Maybe that's that's the uh, that's the move. So Toronto's probably got a really good squad. Um, yeah, I would say so. They're killing us right now. Uh, maybe a reverse sweep. We're gonna hop into this game because I'm actually kind of interested also in seeing what Toronto's lineup is because it's obviously got to be super good. Um, they got Ronald Wilson, Thomas Cologne, which was actually the MVP for the White Sox. Uh, the White Sox for a year, so he had a he had a decent year, the MVP season, but yeah, he looks pretty good. He's also 35. Um, Clinton Ladner, Phil Rowe. Okay, so I mean they don't have a bad team. It's not terrible. Maybe look at their pitching. Maybe that's what's carrying them. As I say that, they did put up 15 runs on us once. So, oh yeah, their pitching's stacked. And then the back half of their bullpen. Okay, okay, so let's let's just hop into it, see if we can win a World Series. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, we're just gonna hop into it. Ooh, Lloyd Fernandez on the mound. I'm liking that. All right, here we go. How's it gonna happen? How are things gonna play out? We got Jared Scadam on the mound for them. And uh, we get the first two hits of the game. But uh, I think this is gonna be a tough one. Sean Valencia gets us started, gets us off right. And um, I think it's kind of cool to get really far into franchises i know i normally don't do them with rebuilds but i think it's kind of cool just to try out new players let those prospects develop and you, you get to to the point where you're literally using players that you don't you don't know if they're going to be good or not you don't know how they're going to be in game you don't know if they're going to develop and you're literally using a bunch of random players which i think is pretty cool i think it's different than using you know mike trout bryce harper um tatis and all that stuff you literally are using players that you know you have no idea and it's just a huge random mix as we give up the uh the lead there which is a little disappointing to see so let's go young get us out of this inning and let's get a run back because why does my bullpen have to let me down every single time it happens all the time can we walk it off here in the ninth that's a good start that's a good start i like that not so much that First and second, one out. Ken Valencia, who started us off, end the game here. He does. World Series champs. It's happened. I've done it. You guys have seen it here first. Here we go. We actually won a World Series for once. Let's go take a look at awards. Bill Estrada is that man. 423 average with three home runs in the World Series and a 333 average in the postseason with five home runs and 19 RBIs. Um, he's got some power versus lefties for sure. Pretty good arm. I mean okay i mean he's this season eh but every other year he's been pretty good so uh let's head into the off season i mean contracts and stuff really aren't too interesting i'm gonna get a, a pretty solid team put together let's see what we can do i figured i'd show you some of the free agents just because you guys could get a little bit like comfortable with some of the names bernie worthing looks unreal actually he looks okay but that name bernie worthing what a name we got babe ioki who we're gonna offer a contract to hopefully he signs kevin lozano looks like a really really good center fielder we're not in the market for a center fielder right now but i would love to pick him up we, we do have an aging center fielder and this guy looks like an absolute stud maybe like a, a mike trout 2.0 um a catcher again we don't really need one right now and i feel like we could definitely get one in the future if need be we got some good pitching as well like delgado golden i mean probably a really solid pitcher his era has been two the last two seasons unreal stuff um some good aging players as well definitely some good um relievers we got some closers here. Richard Davies looks like probably the best one to pick up, but we really don't need a closer. We have a 99 overall one. Um, catchers, Andres Bermudez. Look at that stash. Ooh, I wish I could grow one like that. I just can't. Um, Bay Bayoki, like I said, we are in the market for a first baseman. I'm gonna try to get him. Hopefully we can. Um, there's a couple other decent ones. Miguel Rosario, um, second baseman. What I'm noticing is there are a lot of aging players hitting free agency um, and not necessarily a lot of young guys that I would like to add to the squad. But um, Juan Torero was our shortstop. He decided to go to free agency. Let's hopefully don't like miss out on him because like I said, there's a lot of aging guys that I don't know if they would really help out the squad. All right, so we're gonna try to go two straight years with the World Series. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but 
we made some big splashes in free agency all right so let's take a look let's take a look because um that's not what i wanted i want this one roster history uh we made a couple free agency signings to fill out the roster but um uh, where is I'll, I'll just show you the roster because it makes more sense for me to do it this way so kevin lozano i said we need to get him he looks really 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 good and i mean we, it's just it's just a player we can't pass up on he's 24 years old it looks like he's been in the league for quite some time um what this is going to be his seventh year already so he's been in the league for quite a few years since what he was 17 that's that's kind of crazy to think about like day one you're popped right into the league and then uh, we brought in bay Bayoki for i think a two-year deal five-year deal yeah i mean it's it's a big deal but good first baseman we did miss out on torero that shortstop that we did have but we we had a a good little prospect in the works a potential 77 overall i figured let's just use him his contract isn't going to be massive and we should be uh should be fine our bench is okay nothing too special and then our pitching rotation is still pretty solid um i'm really liking what we have um, with the pitching rotation and the bullpen when i looked at our budget we do have two huge contracts coming off the books for next season which means we can really throw money into free agency i'm really liking that um even i we gotta lock up lloyd fernandez that is one player i definitely don't want to lose he is way too good but for the most part the team looks scary good um and i feel like there's no reason why we shouldn't make the world series again um, let's take a look at what we're ranked. We're ranked first. We're ranked first. Tenth in speed, second in contact, ninth in power, first in pitching, and sixth in defense. There's no one that compares to us. We are a scary good team. Our farm system, not that great, but I don't care. We got a stacked team. There's no reason why we shouldn't win a World Series. Um, this part of the lineup, a little scary, but I think we, we still have a really solid team. So let's see how season two plays out. See you guys at the end of the year. So the road to the second World Series is getting closer but i don't know if we if we have it because i was looking i was following along with the season it looked like some of our pitchers had some high eras which is a little worrying but we did finish 94 and 68 taking on the giants we see that we do have some league leaders um steve pruitt which was our, our center fielder who i moved to right field um looks like he had a crazy good year which is good to see because it's good to have a, a good performing player. Next up, Bernardo Hernandez had some really good games, it looks like. But Steve Pruitt, 34 years old, got one more year on his deal, so he should still be good after that. Um, but it looks like he's our right fielder, like, no no questions asked. Kevin Lozano, who we did bring in, also had a decent year. 293, 22 home runs, 35 doubles. Dude hits doubles for a living. So you guys can kind of see what we're working with. 327 average leader uh, for the American League. Um, 361 for Pruitt. That is nuts. What was his on base percentage? 438 and a 1044 OPS. So like he was he was putting in some work. Like he was he was he was doing some work. Um, home run leaders 42 and 41. Okay. So let's take a look at awards because I'm assuming we had some a silver slugger, Hank Aaron. And then a delivery man of the year. So that's why I said I didn't want a closer because I knew we had a really good closer anyway. Damon McVeil was the MVP, 42 home runs. Okay, pretty respectable year. And then Tim. Tim again. This dude's a beast. Like, this guy's really good. Holy cow. Uh, he's just unstoppable. Cy Young went to Manny Sanchez, who, I mean, that's a good year. 17 and 8, 269 ERA, and a 105 whip. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And then Joaquin Felice. I mean, he's actually been really good since 2048 wins and losses aren't there but that era and whip is nuts batting title obviously went to steve pruitt and then um our reliever of the year was rob polito who's 31 and i mean he's only going to continue to like stay at this rating for a few more years there's no point in getting a new reliever uh rookie of the year went to Derek moeller who hit 27 home runs he might be <laughs> rookie of the year at 33 years old man this dude's a journeyman and then barton daly 20 year old third baseman with deep potential wins rookie of the year for the al okay let's take a look at our team see how things went lloyd fernandez we need to lock him up no matter what we gotta keep him this dude is unreal scary good um bernardo hernandez is good as well i think we got him for what uh arbitration that's perfect uh omar ochoa i'm glad he's leaving massive contract aging decreasing in overall same with sebastian caruso so we're gonna need two pitchers after this year and uh oliver salinas is actually not too bad for a c potential player 84 overall should be doing pretty solid 
um sammy creech we brought him back on a, a decent deal but that's not a good year um clay dominguez struggled a bit chad low pretty solid Munoz, very good. He's actually another closer who could take over for Polito if Polito like just falls off the face of the earth. And Richard Young, not so much. So, okay, okay. So it looks like we got some good pitchers. We got some bad pitchers. We didn't even look at the lineup yet. Um, so we're just gonna have to look at stats because I accidentally simmed a couple days. So Lozano was good. Alvarez was okay. Um, he becomes a free agent this year, so we could look for a new third baseman. Pruitt, our right fielder, center fielder, solid. Um, Bay Bay Oki, we paid him big money, so I'm expecting big numbers. Home runs weren't there, um, but still pretty good. Bill Estrada. Eh, you know, uh, Martinez was pretty bad in 61 games. Jeff Davis. Eh. William Jang. A little better, a little better. And then the rookie. Um, we're not rookie, but... Uh, yeah, he, he was a rookie. He actually had a decent year pretty solid. So I like to see that so overall pretty happy with the team Let's head into this series against the Giants And we're eliminated. Yay Woo. All right, let's go to the offseason season three I really want to add a couple players the White Sox defeat the Reds in the 2051 World Series retired players. We do lose a couple. I don't think they were major leaguers. No inductees I'm kind of hoping there's some Hall of Fame inductees in the last year because I want to see some of these home run totals that people have I want to see some big ones, but Lloyd Fernandez. I'm giving him big money I want him to stay with the team um, Omar Ochoa. No Caruso. No and neither uh, Ernesto Martinez and then moving forward 40 man Nobody, maybe De Silva. I definitely don't want to lose De Silva. He actually could be a, a good little um, player for us next year. Um, so we don't want to lose him, but everybody else can go. Arbitration will offer him. But let's check Let's check out free agency because we do need pitchers and we may need a third baseman. So, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. can our first baseman play third base? That is the question. Can he play third base? He cannot. Hmm. Dang it. I would totally go after Tim if uh, I think we still have to just for a year. I mean, Andy Morgan looks really good as well. Some really good first baseman in this uh, in this save, like really good. Um, I think Ricky Batista is a guy we got to go after. Um, he just looks like a stud. We need a pitcher as well. We actually need two. Um, and there's a couple good ones available. So Elton Joyce, we got. A lot of Hispanic names going on. Maybe Andreas Alvarado and Ozzy Alvarado are brothers. Possibly. Um, bullpen's okay. Bullpen's okay. But we do need a third baseman. Um, not a lot of young guys available. Do we? He's got 90 fielding. I feel like he can play third base. I feel like he's a guy we got to go after. Let's do it. Um, so before we head into season three, I guess... The CPU, I still had it on auto for contracts. So it offered Ochoa and Caruso contract. We're going to trade him to the Blue Jays for a nice, uh, decent uh, reliever in Manuel Torres. Alrighty, season three, here we go. We made a big signing. I think you already know who it's going to be. We also made a, a pitching signing that was pretty nice. And I feel like we're probably not going to win a, another World Series just because it's me and I suck at building teams and winning World Series. But let's see how it goes. All right, let's take a look because pitching wise, we added this guy through the rule five draft because we have no money because I went a little bit too overboard with throwing out cash to free agents like it was my job. I literally was like, hey, you get some cash, you get some cash. It was really easy. So this is what we're looking like. We brought back Lloyd Fernandez. Obviously, Ricky Batista is a new addition to the team. Uh, we got Bernardo Hernandez, who was with us last year. Um, Salinas as well. And then this guy from the Rule 5 draft. Um, you guys can kind of tell what we're working with here. Manuel Torres was the guy that we traded for. Everything else is kind of the same. Not much has changed. Lineup wise, this is where a couple things have changed. I traded, uh, or I changed, not traded. I changed Jeff Davis from a third baseman to a second baseman. Um, I figured let's just let's toss him there. We do have this guy, but I don't think he's ready just yet. Um, I think he's he's a couple seasons away. We brought in Tim Kazizak, Kachizik, whatever his name is. He's got really good fielding, so I figured he can play that third base position 
just fine at he's kind of like a freddie freeman type player he should be able to do it he's got a really good glove we should be good offensively team looks good uh pitching wise team looks solid let's see what we can do i'm gonna take a look at standings really quick we're first in every single category except for speed if we don't win something's wrong <laughs> let's see how season three plays out all right so again we won a division which is good but I have a feeling we're not going to win a World Series, like I said. So we were 99 and 63. So we didn't even win 100 games throughout this rebuild, which is interesting. But we do have some league leaders once again. Aoki and Tim Kazizak, Kajizik, whatever his name is. He looks really good. Yeah, obviously, he's really good. Ricky Bautista, Bernardo Hernandez, Bautista again. And Bautista and Bautista were really good pitchers. Uh, I saw a stat i think it was close like saves yeah polito was second he was really good for us throughout this entire rebuild uh batista the mvp i'm assuming he won the gold glove i mean the cy young as well 18 and 6 he was the guy we signed right yeah 18 and 6 233 era with a 0.98 whip so he unreal um bob julio a dh got the mvp for the al that's an okay year but i'm not too sure how he was uh the winner there and then we'll take a look manny sanchez back-to-back -back cy youngs for the al okay so that's interesting we're going to take a look at the reliever of the year which was gilberto franco who won it the first season so between him and Polito, it looks like they got a little battle going and the twins just have a really good starter and closer here with orlando hernandez three straight years as reliever of the year okay mariano Marte was rookie of the year 33 year old rookie of the year and then Ernest Ballou 34 year old rookie of the year had an okay season as well so for the most part pretty happy with the way things turned out we, we're still ranked first in every single thing except for power power and defense we're second now interesting um it looks like our team's just really good so let's take a look at our like final stats look at these attributes this guy's insane I would love for a player like this to be on the Cubs the pitching sucks anyways uh really good season lloyd fernandez was crazy good unreal uh ricky batista was good as well best season of his career bernardo hernandez really good Pff, crazy good stats oscar salinas not too bad and then andrew loshi can't complain can't complain Bo boyce dyer pretty lackluster creech was all right um he looks pretty good clay dominguez 2.25 era yeah okay manuel torres the guy we traded for was pretty solid as well chad Lowe, pretty good for his stats his stats aren't amazing but he did really well jesus munoz had his worst year of his career but he's still 25 so still pretty solid richard young came back after that really bad year did really well and then rob polito i'm <sighs> I can't like he's just unreal like too good of a closer we have some really good clo uh pitching like we just have a good pitching staff that's what i'm trying to say let's take a look at our bench uh alberto gonzalez 30 year old 81 overall more of a defensive catcher still pretty good uh manuel da silva is only getting better he would probably be the second baseman going forward in the future and frank olivo eh. um kevin lozano down year really disappointed to see that especially after getting paid but it happens steve pruitt at the age of 35 is still putting up fantastic numbers i mean look at those stats i don't see why he wouldn't tim at 36 we only signed him to a one-year deal but i think i would try to bring him back anyways as long as we possibly could because this guy is absolutely insane Bay Bayoki is getting really good as well um between him and tim i think he got the corners locked up bill estrada is still pretty good at 32 putting up okay numbers um average has never been a good thing for him but He's still pretty solid. Enrique Severino would probably be a corner outfielder for the future. Maybe not. Just kidding. Take that back. Average is pretty bad. Jeff Davis, probably the second baseman for the future. Um, average isn't there, but he's only going to get better. He's 23 years old. I think he's got that spot locked up. William Jang, catcher. He's all right. And then Jeffrey Fries, the shortstop. is getting better. 18 home runs, 30 doubles. Pretty solid. So again, like I've been saying, farm systems depleted. Don't really got anything going for us. We're taking on the Dodgers and facing elimination as per usual. Let's get into it. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're gonna probably lose to the Dodgers. 
always happens this way um but we're gonna take a look at the roster after this just because i am interested to see like what their ratings are who's a, like who's high rated why are they in this situation and things like that and then we'll take a look at the world series winner um okay we lost or we're losing so far one nothing three hits for each team all right we tied up the game and um so far pretty even between the two sides um, can we get a run here? That would be huge. Um, Jeff Davis. No. All right. We're going to take out. All right. We're going to take him out. We're going to take him out. We're going to go to a lefty and, G and young. And we're going to go to a righty and Torres. And he got us out of the inning. Thank God. Thank God. All right. Swing. Pinch hit. We're going to go to Gonzalez. He's going to ground out. Awesome. Love it. Great stuff. We're going to go to Creech. Hopefully he doesn't allow a run. He doesn't. In the 10th we go. Why? Why does this happen to me every single time? So let's take a look at the Dodgers roster. Um, we'll just take a look at their lineup really quick. Dodgers is right here. So they got a pretty good squad. Uh, Takatsu, Villegas, Morgan. Holy cow. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, they've, they've got themselves a squad for sure. Um, take a look at their pitching as well. And then we'll we'll fast forward to the World Series and see. Oh, yeah, th their team is nuts. Holy cow. Holy cow. I see. I see why they made it to the, the they, I see why they, they beat us hands down. Um, the twins, the twin, I, we got to see the twins lineup because this team has got to be stacked if they're winning awards and, oh, look at that pitching rotation. That's nuts. 99, 89, 91, 86, 85. The bullpen's okay, but this part right here is lights out. So you don't have to worry about that. We'll take a look at their lineup because they've got to be stacked there too. Yeah, it's a pretty good team. 91 for their center fielder. He's 26 as well. Their catcher's 31 from Jamaica. So he's still got a few years left. 28. Oh, they got a young team. Torero left us to go to the Twins um, after he won a World Series. So yeah, they've got a they've got a decent team. Um, a couple older players, a couple younger players, but yeah, I can see why the Twins are definitely World Series winners. But with that being said, that's the 2050 rebuild. If you guys want to see 200 or 2100 rebuild where we go 50 years further into the future let me know in the comment section down below also let me know what's the farthest you've ever been in a rebuild i want to know how far you guys have gone or in a franchise um because this is the farthest i've ever simmed and um this took way too long so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video hit the like button if you did subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content i'll catch you on the next video peace